Hello and welcome back to this Final Fantasy X Let's Play with me, SLJ RPG. In the last episode, we did the Macal Macalania Cloister of Trials, which involved a lot of moving around. We got the uh, we got ourselves the uh, sphere, luck sphere for our sphere grid. But now we need to escape. So, without further ado, let's Please. do this. Give us a chance to explain. No need. I already know what I'll tell the other maesters. Meaning? Lord Seymour was the leader of the Guado before becoming a maester. You're not letting us go. Let you go? Lord Seymour would never forgive us if we did. Wait! Wait! Jiskel's sphere! We can show it to them! You mean this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> The Guado take care of Guado affairs. Oh, wait. Run! That was a really oddly glitched push pull over there. So, we need to escape. We can buy stuff. I'm actually going to quickly save. I think it makes sense to. Let's save here. Before I went back for the Jack Spheres. Right, let's go. We are going to have to end up fighting some Guado Guardians. Which is not the uh, the worst thing in the world. Fuck it, let's fight one. <laughs> so they bring out things. Obviously that you are meant to defeat, but we don't need to deal with that right now. What we need to do is get Riku on here, get her to steal the Guado High Potion so we can't do Wardo Potion, and then Auron can quite simply just take care of this one. Lulu can take care of the Ice Flan with their fire magic. And then Riku, who's already done her bit, can go out to Waka, who now is actually quite strong. We'll bring in Titus so he can do his bit for the fight. We're slaying Guados left, right, and center. <laughs> Not doing great for the uh, the old Guado thing, but they are faster than us, so fights with them are inevitable. Okay, so that's Walker's speciality. Two of Walker's specialities, so. What we'll do is, once again, we'll go to Riku, whose steel here is especially useful. And then we'll bring in the Ronto himself. That's annoying. Ah, yes, nice. Uh, let's bring in Kimari Ronto. Attack there. Let's bring in Waka. Waka Flocka. <laughs> For the good. We'll do some Thunderers here. He's confused, but that is fine. Waka well, can take care of both the evil eyes. Not an issue. That's annoying, but not the end of the world. Then with Auron, he can now do his attack. Easily done. Auron's such a beast. And we got a, Se a Seeker's Touch. Let's confront the one behind us. For the culture. So we got a Flan. And what else is going to bring us? If it's one of those big Rocky Boys, he's made a mistake. But that's fine. We'll attack with Walker. Let's see, Auto Potion. Just to show you guys, because you haven't seen that, so it's very annoying. He's just going to keep an auto potioning. So we need to get Riku in next. They are really going after 
really going after Auron here. We stole an X potion, which is actually very handy. Let's bring in Yuna in, just so she can heal. Oh, Dory boy here. Make him tip top, and then as we bring in Lulu. Let's end this. I agree. That's why Riku's just so invaluable, because she just allows you to really breeze past the spot. And then we're going to bring Titus in, because I think he's the one member that hasn't had a go. See ya! Ah. Not the case. Let's bring in Riku. And we'll bring in Titus for the kill. The overkill. I do like how the music suddenly becomes very serious. And we get some S levels up, which is always handy, of course. Right, let's make our way through here. So, it's very good. We've got a fork in the road coming up. So, if we continue south, we can get ourselves some a little level key sphere, which is obviously always handy. This is a weird angle, isn't it, guys? <laughs> right, let's do this. Lulu, use her fire magic on. God, this f the angles making me feel weird about my uh, about my uh, about my buttons. Let's just attack with Aura. We're so strong, actually. <laughs> Maybe going back to get the Jack Spheres did overpower us a little bit, but you know what? Oh, we've got an Ice Moomba. Which you can't see here, but... We'll just take these guys out. Regular style. You don't see... There's not Ice Moombas in... Um, I've not seen any Moombas in this game. So far. Moombas obviously from Final Fantasy 8. And we go up here. Get ourselves a level 1 key sphere and make our way back down. These battles are fairly easy for us. We're going to keep Auron's overdrive. In fact, I might move out to Waka so he has his. Because he does a fair amount of damage regardless now. So if I can build his build his overdrive meter, that will be handy. We'll bring out in Riku. We got a Hypello potion. Ooh, that is handy. And then we have a boss battle coming up, so I'm just going to touch this just to get that life healing as we go on ahead. We've inadvertently started a race war, and we see a Wendigo there in the back. Not sure why it's decided to fight alongside the Guedos, but that seems to be the case. So, first off, with Riku, is that we want to disable these Guardians. With Waka, we actually want to use his Dark Attack on the Wendigo. Because they are susceptible to that, but that's the reason why we need to we need to we need to steal from these guys let's just do a fire for the Wendigo seems pretty good to me as we steal here we stole an potion. not fun I'm actually going to go out to Kamari Ronso and have him use his 
He's got he's got a, such a weird bag of skills, but he's got dark attack. So have him dark attack the Wendigo. That's very annoying. So let's focus. Actually, let's focus down the uh, the annoying Guados in the back. And I believe with a. Let's null frost. Just makes makes us invincible to frost attacks, which is actually very handy. As we take out the next one, and then Titus should have his overdrive for the next next ability, using protect. Obviously annoying, but he's done one there, and that's fine. So let's use the dark attack still again. We'll move on your and then we'll actually use Actually no, let's just use an attack first. As we overkill with Auron. So they've buffed up this guy to a hell of a lot, but we'll use slice and dice. Doesn't do as much power as we perhaps like. But that's fine. Let's move out of Kamiron, so bring in El Walker Boy. Ooh, I should bring in. Hmm. We'll do a power break. Just because that's handy. But then let's actually bring in Yuna, who has a nice little spell that we learned recently, which is this, which is going to come very, very in handy. This spell just removes shell and the like. Spring and Riku, just because I like her. <laughs> and use a. One would assume that this thing is weak to fire. So it would make sense to use a bomb fragment on it. I remember really struggling with this um, as a kid. We just stole a high potion. We're actually going to bring you know. Bring Lulu back in. Have her hit Fireger. That is annoying. Dark attack. Shows how useful Walker actually is. And we'll have him use Banishing Blade. Why not? I don't think you guys have seen this. Right, this has got a hard input that I've forgotten. So it's up LB, down RB, uh, that way, that way Y. Oh. I just like the animation for this. And that does almost 5,000 damage, which is of course very handy. We'll bring in Yuna again, who can use her white magic to heal Auron who is now not going to be able to move for a little bit which is actually fine but we've got one more option here let's give it to Kamari Ronso who with that can end the fight And we get a whole bunch of sphere grids. And we got a rebel lance. Always handy. Praise be to Yevon. That's what I would have said. If I was a follower of Yevon. We were all there. And in one piece. Even if I had a headache from wondering what was in store for us next. So, we're down here, but let's save the game. Only you can prevent lost save data, guys. Data. Data, I should say. So, this feels like the right place to go. And then, if 
we speak to Auron, we will complete the story. But there's some things here that we want to grab. So. We're under the lake, guys, aren't we? Who knows? Look, that's the bottom of the temple. <sighs> We've fallen a long way. We must speak to everyone. What now, I wonder? What now? Uh, you act first and think later, don't you? I mean, can't you be a little more responsible? We're all <laughs> depending on you, you know? <laughs> a lecture. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Just a suggestion. Orin's the best. You should trust in your friends. But you can't expect someone to protect you all the time. Truth. You would do well to remember that. You would. Is that a lecture? It's advice. Advice. So there should be a box. Yuna will wake soon. Kimari knows this. I'm sure Yuni's okay. She's breathing fine and all. How are Lulu and Waka? Hmm. Well, Waka's in shock. Can't blame him either. And Lulu? Well, she's just the same as always. Spin Lulu. She's so together. All grown up, I guess. I guess. Well, just give me five or six more years. <laughs> So, Kamari, how do we get out of here? Hey, don't change the subject. We climb. Kimari too. <laughs> Only those who try will become. Huh? I think he means you have to work hard if you want to be like Lulu. Oh, I will. Kimari think. Riku should stay Riku. Huh? Jay think Riku hey, should stay Riku. Are you saying I'll never be like Lulu? No. Kimari! <laughs> How could you laugh at a time like this? <sighs> Yuna? Yuna has awoken. I wanted to confront Maester Seymour about his father, Lord Jiskol. I wanted to convince him to turn himself in to Yevon's judgment. In exchange for marriage? Yes, if that's what it took. So, what did Seymour say? He didn't say anything. Now, I... Now I don't even think it was worth it. Mm -hmm. I should have told you what I was going to do. Enough! Dwelling in the past is futile. Hey! You don't have to say it like that! You want to waste time listening to her regrets? Or you want to go defeat Sin? You don't have to say it like that. <laughs> Our immediate concern is Yuna's pilgrimage. Are you willing to go on? Yes. But then, do you think Yevon will allow it? The Faith are the ones that give power to the summoners. Not, not the temples or the teachings. Truth. If the temples try to stop us, then we will defy Yevon if we must. Waka's not happy about it. I can't believe you said that! Sir Oren? Count me out. We have to atone, to make up for the sins we have committed. Of course. It's not like I ever liked Maester Seymour, yeah? No way I'll ever forgive him for killing Lord Jisco. And for trying to do us all in two, you know? But still... The bunch of us going against Yevon? No way! Walker's... Walker's butt hurt. transgressed... ...and must face our punishment. We must go to Bevel. We must speak with Maester Micah and explain what has happened. 
There is no other way, I think. I agree. Uh, Sir Oren? So it is decided. Will you come with us? I am the troublemaker, after all. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You can always count on Aaron to complicate things. <laughs> yeah. Kamari roars and Aaron runs off and... I never asked you to follow me. Hey, but that's what friends are for. He's right? like your dad more than your friend. Yeah. Thank you. Huh? Friends, huh? <laughs> Man, how can you all act like nothing's wrong? Must got nerves of steel or something. You're too edgy. Listen to the hymn and calm down. Is that coming from the temple? Yes, it is Yevon's gift. It soothes the hearts of the faithful. I do love this music, to be fair. Right, what we need to do is we need to grab this first, which is the level 2 key sphere. And then, we have to go beyond next to Auron here and grab this, an Avenger, which is actually a pretty handy ab ability. Handy little weapon for Auron. But. Jack used to sing this song. There we go. <laughs> yeah, over and over. <laughs> but not this good, that's for sure. Another trait you share. <laughs> uh, what? You were listening? <laughs> Jeez, can I get a little privacy? Your singing reminded me of Spira. All oh, right, you're not originally from Xanarkin, are you? You homesick? Maybe. I love Oren. Say, how'd you get to Xanarkin anyway? Sin? Time will reveal. Uh, I thought so. That proved it. Sin was the link between Xanarkand and Spira. Which means, if we kill Sin, I'll never be able to go home. But you know what happens in the future. Which makes no sense, guys. But, there you go. It is what it is. Let's have a, another quick... Go back to our friends. The singing stopped. <gasps> There's something here. The ground. Big old fucking sin. Watch out! It was then I knew that Sin really was my old man. For the first time, I was finally able to believe it. The song you were listening to. Mm-hmm. What is it this time? Xanarkand. Ah, you homesick too? He wants Blitzball. That's not your world anymore. You're sin now. Hey, 
I'm older now, you know? I know. You want this to end. I'll find a way, promise. You have to kill him. Which is sad. Guys, I mean, come on. And once again, Titus wakes up and alone in the water. See a theme. <laughs> but I think this is a good place to say, if you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time as we see where the fuck we are. Peace.